Gujarati is an Indo-Aryan language native to the Indian state of Gujarat. Much of its phonology is derived from Sanskrit. Vowels Sanskrit's phonemic vowel length has been lost. Vowels are long when nasalized or in a final syllable. Gujarati contrasts oral and nasal, and murmured and non-murmured vowels, except for e, and o. In absolute word final position the higher and lower vowels of the e, and o, sets vary. And developed in the 15th century. Old Gujarati split into Rajasthani and Middle Gujarati. English loanwords are a source of a. Topic: <laughs> Consonants. The retroflex lateral flap may be more concisely transcribed with the non-IPA symbol, though this may not display properly in some browsers. A fourth nasal phoneme is postulated for the phones and the nasalization of a preceding vowel v. Before velar and palatal stops, there is variation between these, e.g. m tilde mu ask for, itko tilde itko swing. Stops occurring at first members of clusters followed by consonants other than j are unreleased, they are optionally unreleased in final position. The absence of release entails deaspiration of voiceless stops. Intervocalically and with murmuring of vowels, the voiced aspirated stops, d, b, have voiced spirant allophones, beta. Spirantization of non-palatal voiceless aspirates has been reported as well, including, p, being usually realized as, f, in the standard dialect. The voiced retroflex stops and the nasal, have flapped allophones, intervocalically all three are flapped is unflapped before retroflex stops, and in final position varies freely between flapped and unflapped. The stops are unflapped initially, geminated, and postnasally, and flapped intervocalically, finally, and before or after other consonants. Has v and w as allophones. The distribution of sibilants varies over dialects and registers. Some dialects only have s, others prefer, while another system has them non-contrasting, with occurring contiguous to palatal segments. Retroflex still appears in clusters in which it precedes another retroflex, sp clear. Some speakers maintain z as well for Persian and English borrowings. Persians, z, s have by and large been transposed to d, and d, dindi, life, and tid, thing. The same cannot be so easily said for English, tis, cheese. Lastly, a colloquial register has s, or both s and replaced by voiceless h. For educated speakers speaking this register, this replacement does not extend to Sanskrit borrowings. Phonotactical constraints include and do not occur word initially. Clusters occur initially, medially, and finally. Geminates occur only medially. Biconsonantal initial clusters beginning with stops have j and l as second members. In addition to these, in loans from Sanskrit the clusters, n, and, k, may occur. The occurrence of, as a second member in consonantal clusters is one of Gujarati's conservative features as a modern Indo-Aryan language. For example, languages used in Asakan inscriptions 3rd century BC display contemporary regional variations, with words found in Gujarat's Gurner inscriptions containing clusters with, as the second member not having, in their occurrence in inscriptions elsewhere. This is maintained even to today, with Gujarati, T, corresponding to Hindi, T, and T, T. Initially, S clusters biconsonantally with J, N, M, and non-palatal voiceless stops. Triconsonantal initial clusters include per stone, SP, SM, most of which occur in borrowings. Geminates were previously treated as long consonants, but they are better analyzed as clusters of two identical segments. Two proofs for this, the U in geminated Ukar pronunciation sounds more like the one in clustered Udgar utterance than the one in shortened Ukat anxiety. Geminates behave towards that is, disallow, deletion like clusters do, gemination can serve as intensification. In some adjectives and adverbs, a singular consonant before the agreement vowel can be doubled for intensification. Hashtag VCU hashtag VCCU Topic. Stress The matter of stress is not quite clear. 
Stress is on the first syllable except when it doesn't have a, and the second syllable does. Stress is barely perceptible. Stress typically falls on the penultimate syllable of a word, however, if the penultimate vowel in a word with more than two syllables is schwa, stress falls on the preceding syllable. Deletion Schwa deletion, along with a reduction and insertion, is a phonological process at work in the combination of morphemes. It is a common feature among Indo-Aryan languages, referring to the deletion of a stem's final syllables before a suffix starting with a vowel. This does not apply for monosyllabic stems and consonant clusters. So, better put, hashtag VCC plus V hash hashtag VCC V hash. It also doesn't apply when the addition is an O plural marker see Gujarati grammar hashtag nouns or E as an ergative case marker see Gujarati grammar hashtag postpositions. It sometimes doesn't apply for E as a locative marker. Topic. Reduction A stem's final syllables will reduce to before a suffix starting with hash c c plus hash hash e c c hash. This can be seen in the derivation of nouns from adjective stems, and in the formation of passive and causative forms of verb stems. Topic. Insertion Between a stem ending in a vowel and its suffix starting with a vowel, a is inserted. Hashtag v plus v hash hashtag v v hash. This can be seen in the formation of passive and causative forms of verb stems. The second example shows an reduction as well. Topic. Insertion finds itself inserted between the emphatic particle, d, and consonant terminating words it postpositions. <inaudible> murmur Serves as a source for murmur, of which there are three rules. The table below compares declensions of the verbs ku to do and k to say. The former follows the regular pattern of the stable root k, serving as a point for characteristic suffixations. The latter, on the other hand, is deviant and irregular in this respect. The k situation can be explained through murmur. If to a formal or historical root of k, these rules are considered then predicted, explained, and made regular as the irregularity that is k romanized as kahavu. Thus below are the declensions of k. Possessing, murmur eliciting root, k, this time with the application of the murmur rules on the root shown, also to which a preceding rule must be taken into account. 0. A final root vowel gets deleted before a suffix starting with a non consonant, however, in the end not all instances of become murmured and not all murmur comes from instances of. One other predictable source for murmur is voiced aspirated stops. A clear vowel followed by a voiced aspirated stop can vary with a pair gaining murmur and losing aspiration. Hashtag VC hashtag VC.